Hey guys, welcome to another awesome cast. It's what? I said no when hey. you just started. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> Hey, I've learned not to listen to you. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Okay. Let's See, you weren't even ready. All right. Huh. Hey guys, welcome to another awesome cast, episode 92. We're back again here at the studios in Pittsburgh, PA. I'm Sorg, uh, of Sorgatron.com and all that fun stuff. Uh, with me, back on the couch, returned from his exile, and playing with Windows 8 is Chachi. How you hey doing? Guys. Hey, he's, he's still playing with Windows 8. Actually, I was reading about Sims 3. <laughs> okay. Um... And also joining us, uh, back again, the real life journalist, Mike Pound, Uncle Cracky, Uncle Crappy dot com. <laughs> Uncle Cracky, I'm sorry, that password thing before the show threw Uncle, me Uncle off. Uncle Cracky 36. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and you got you got something else that just came out too, right? Well, I, 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 the, the, the professional thing is um, uh, a consumer oriented tech column at timesonline.com. That is the Beaver County Times. Runs uh, every Sunday, so it's called Geeked. Uh, go check it out. Try to have fun with it. Excellent. Not as much fun as I have here, but, you know. <laughs> well, you know, it, it, we can only do, you know, we're, we're not we're not as organized as you guys are over there. So, um, oh, you might be surprised. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, well, first off, let's 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 well, this is the awesome cast. If you've come across us, want to check out more out about us. We're over at awesomecast.com. You can email us at contact at awesomecast.com. You can also tweet us at awesomecast. Uh, like a few people did this week, we'll talk about it in a second. Uh, also, oh, and we're retweeted. Thank you. And uh, also, uh, you can uh, hook up with us on the Facebook. We have a page over there. We're on Google Plus, and there's a lot of conversation going on over there after the show. So please stop by and say hi, and uh, let us know you know what we missed, what you want us to talk about, uh, what you did, you know what you, what you uh, you know whatever you got from here. So uh, we'll go with that. And uh, well, first, uh, like I said, we we were uh, I you. You know, we do these, we always end up with the iPhone announcement is the day after or the iPad or whatever, and we know it's imminent, and we know by the time you hear this, you probably, it's probably already out, because if, if you're not here with us live, you probably got it sometimes Wednesday, and it's probably already out there, and it doesn't even matter. So, in the tradition of the awesome cast, we ask for wild speculation on what the iPad 3 iPad HD, whatever you're going to call it. Uh, chat room, if you haven't chimed in yet, please let us know what you think uh, it could be. Uh, but from what we got on the Twitter so far, uh, Riz IUP, who joins us uh, over on the Wrestling Mayhem show, says simply hologram. Uh, Miss Bossy Pants uh, says half tablet, half hoverboard, half slot machine. Now, Chachi, you have That's one. three halves. That's three halves. Wait. Exactly. It's, you know, I think Apple can pull it off. Yeah, probably. Uh, Chachi, what did you have earlier on the Twitter? Uh, they announced that the iPad 3, or it was rumored that the iPad 3 was going to be bigger than the iPad 2, like okay. thicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said they were adding a toaster. Which, wouldn't that be tremendous? <laughs> Toast on the go. Toast on the go. <laughs> what, what else do you think? Is there anything, any speculations outside of those rumors? No. No? No? New iPad. It's going to be a new iPad? It's not going to be mind-blowing. No? No. no. Uh, what about you? Uh, but I'm trying to find the clip, but apparently Ellen added a toaster. Is that why everybody was telling you yeah. to, to go watch Ellen today? Yeah, everyone, was, Ellen added it. That was added a, a toaster. That was a little to weird. It. So I'm um, trying to find a clip. Uh, from the chat room, uh, so supposedly Davitech says the uh, iPad 3 will be able to levitate. Uh, okay. Rebellious flaw, teletransportation, boom. That's that's the one. That's what I want. That's what you want. <laughs> I want teleportation. The, the, my my compute this my commute this summer is going to be brutal with uh, the the average all brick all equip a bridge closing and paving on Route sixty five. Oh, yeah. I want teleportation. That's that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> it's long overdue. Along with yeah. those hoverboards. Yes. You know, right. hoverboard um, would be a close second. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, Anti hipster glare screen from Sonic Screwdriver. Uh, the iPad will actually set Android devices on fire with a 10-foot radius. Sorry, Chachi. Um, wow. <laughs> that's, that's Wait, better. what? What? What was that? Don't worry about it. We'll move on. You no. can listen to it later. I want to know um, what it says. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, really. What does it say? No, tell, uh, him, tell him. Uh, the iPad will actually set it Android devices on fire with a 10-foot radius. Oh, nice. Yes. Um, Spider-Sense. Uh, Spider-Sense? 
Um, what, what do you what do you think, Krabby? What do you think is is, is coming? What's your wild uh, wish list for for the iPad? I'm 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 actually expecting something that that's not. This is going to be similar to the. Uh, the, the iPhone announcement last fall mm. when everyone's sort of looking for an iPhone five and, and we get some, some nice steps forward, but not, not the big leap maybe that everyone's looking for. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, 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 one of the things, the thing that I'm, I'm, I might be most curious about is not what actually the, the, the new iPad is going to do is I, I'm curious about what, if any pressure that Apple is feeling from, um, uh, for, from the Kindle fire, uh, from what promises to be a whole bunch of tablets that are that are coming down the pipe uh, with with Windows, uh, I, won't, well, I know we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, um, I, I'm, I, you know, Apple traditionally has uh, has said, "Here is our product. Here is the price. Um, we hope you like it." Um, and, and that's 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 sort of been what they what they've done in the past. If you look at what they've done with iPhones, though, uh, when they when they make a jump forward, they they discount. Uh, the older models for a while. And that's actually kept me fairly up to date um, as far as iPhones go. I'm, I'm curious, and I've read a couple of places where, where that maybe that's a possibility. Um, I, I, I still can't justify. I, I know I can't justify the cost uh, for me personally on a print journalism salary. You know, the, the, the cost of a uh, of an iPad three. Um, could I justify the cost of a uh, 16 gig Wi-Fi iPad two at at 299? Eh, maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah. So I'm curious to see if if, if they're going to react if they're if they're feeling any pressure from current competition, future competition, uh, and and uh, see if they uh, we see some of those discounts in the iPads. See, I don't. Deals. But I don't know if they're feeling any pressure at all. They may not at, at this point because because Android's pretty much. You know, aside from the Kindle Fire, has pretty much been a you know no game. Hold for up, them, right? What time what? out? What, what? So I'm looking at the notes. Here we go. Did you pull this straight from my web page? Where the EA story? <laughs> you pulled this straight from my web page. Is that- everyone else gets a credit? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> which 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 one? I I just see Kodaku links. The e- I thought one of them I grabbed from you. Yeah, but you didn't give me credit. I didn't. No, <laughs> I must have dropped the wrong link in there. I'm like, I'm like <laughs> reading this section of the notes, and I'm like that reads very familiar. <laughs> like I recognize that writing style. And then I get down to the bottom to find out where you got it from, and there's no link. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'll give you a chance to talk about oh, your new site there. But yeah. we'll get to that story still. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so it's a new note-taking system I'm doing here. So Internet we're, theft we're, is what it well, is. Well, okay, that's, that's what it is. It's, it's within the family. It's within the Sorgatron yeah, Media family. That's man. fine. That's fine. And gives you a chance to talk about your new site. <laughs> um, it just caught me by surprise. <laughs> I'm, like I was listening to your guys' conversation, and, and I'm looking over the notes. Because I really don't care about the new iPad. Because it's not going to be iPad 3. It's going to be iPad 2.5. And, yeah, so you think it's going to be yeah. like a, a 2S or yeah. something. Yeah, I mean, Siri's got to be coming to it at this point. Um, is perjury? Is that perjury? I don't think that's perjury. Not perjury, no. No, no. no. So, so yeah, we got Siri. But, you know, what about all these? Uh, well, th- th- there's rumors that go both ways. There's the, of course, everybody, for some reason, wants a Kindle Fire-sized iPad. Uh, which isn't that an iPad, iPod Touch, or what? You, you just yeah. do a bigger iPod Touch, right? At that point, I mean, or, at that point, you're just doing, you're doing an iPad with a seven inch screen. Apple doesn't really do halfway. <laughs> no, you know, no, they don't. At this point, they don't need to. Um, and yeah, they don't need to. And like we were saying, I, is there really any pressure coming from anybody? Do they are they are they shaking that in their boots over this Windows stuff? Uh, you know, maybe maybe in a year, you know, they'll they'll start addressing that. Because that's not even, I mean, it's still on the drawing board, basically. We're just now getting it in our hands. Like, literally, just now getting it in our hands, Chachi, uh-huh. especially right now. Um, so, I, I can't see them moving. And, 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 you know, Apple's not a company that's going to push forward unless they have to. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. We got any, anything else? I uh, think the only reason they're, they're releasing one this year is so that they can put Siri on an iPad. Yeah, because yeah. that's probably everyone's biggest well, demand right now. Well, there's obvious progression. It's going to be supposedly four cores. It's going to be a better chip. It's going to be better memory. Uh, it, it, all the stuff that 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 makes the the iPhone a better device, right? Uh, you know, 
horsepower wise than the iPad 2 is now going to be stepped up and it'll be halfway to what we're going to see in the next iPhone. I mean, there's just going to be that obvious progression. Yes, there's a printer software driver in there, okay. Chachi. I, was I, sure I, I told yours. you, I was, I was preparing it so I could do some work on it. <laughs> it uh, really is yours. Um, <laughs> that's, that's why I like, wrote the numbers on it. Um, anyways, um, but... Uh, yeah, it, this really just feels a step up. I don't see a, I don't see a really groundbreaking one more thing tomorrow. <laughs> Better cameras. So more, what, what, what's I, going on? I, what? I just got a direct message from Deb of Tech that I can't read on the air. Okay, because it's not family air. friendly. No, no. Um, <laughs> so uh, you, th you threw me off now. It's all right, oh, I'm you, sorry. So you know, there's going to be a better camera. There's going to be more people awkwardly taking pictures at uh, at at comic cons and wrestling shows with the ipad up like this because it's the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen um <laughs> so sorry wheels he has an android device he takes pictures with um but same but same thing i mean it just it's huge it's awkward i don't see anybody really getting much use out of something like that facetime is one thing but that's already there i think facetime on an ipad is better than facetime on a iPhone. I don't. I think either way, it's just whatever device you have. Right. Like it, it it's kind of like whatever camera you have is the one you use. Right. Whatever, whatever device you have, like an iMac here or 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 you know the iPad, the iPhone, whatever you have in your pocket, and you can go and call grandma on that thing. That that's the amazing thing. Uh, I was talking with AJ last night. He says that uh, you know Facetime's changed a lot of stuff, and um, I, I forget it was his family or, or his uh, his his fiance's family or, or whatnot. Uh, you know, just like it's the easiest thing to say, Grandma, let's do, you know, get together on this and and uh, just get connected, you know. So that that's where the real power of that is, is is amongst the normal people just being able to push a button and talk to each other uh, with it. It's it, it's it's a it's vi it's a video phone calling before the telcos have figured it out, really. So um, let's see. Sonic says a tethered camera would be cool. Extends like an antenna. <laughs> that could be. <laughs> You imagine that? Whoop. <laughs> That'd be even funnier to see in public than people holding up iPads. Mm -hmm. So, like a like a periscope kind of thing. Yeah, it, that, okay. that's how that's how I'm picturing it. <laughs> that could be fun. That could be fun. Well, either way, tomorrow at one p.m. Eastern, we're all going to know what's going to go on, and we'll talk about it. Here Come next on, week. toaster. <laughs> You're going to be watching, going like toaster, toaster. Where's the toaster? One more thing. It's a toaster. <laughs> Best thing since sliced bread does something with sliced bread. All right, an iPad 3 stylus. Well, now that Steve's dead, he can roll in his grave, I guess. Um, <laughs> that That's the best suggestion I've heard, actually. That's, that's great. It's, well, got a, it's got a pen. Didn't we laugh at a phone two weeks ago for having a stylus? <laughs> yes, we did. Yes, we did. You know what? You know, and I've been here, but well, Mobile World Congress um, happened last week. We talked about it a little bit, and... And one of the, I think they're they're having a note that's a uh, one of those seven inch uh, pads uh, mm -hmm. from what I was hearing. But the big issue with it is there's nowhere to put the pen. And their presumption when asked about it at the Samsung booth was, well, we expect people to get that will use something like this to get uh, holders and whatnot to accompany the pen. No, that no. doesn't seem like that's a good not, workaround there. It's like no, you didn't think about where to put the pen. You're pushing the pen. You're making us use a pen. Some people want to use a pen. Put it somewhere. Found it. Yeah. Found it. Start button. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to what Chachi's been Sorry. doing. Now, now I, I, I hand... It, it's the closest thing to a start button you're going to find on on Windows 8. I show handed me, Chachi... Show me where. I handed looking. Chachi this laptop. It's loaded with Windows 8. What is that? Oh, wait, how'd you do that? I put the cursor in the corner. And, oh, okay. That popped out like for a moment. I'm like, but yeah, it it switches back and forth between the two. You screens. need to be more patient. So I see. Yeah, it's it's not an instant thing. I mean, as soon as you put, oh, it's a whole system tray. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Anything that you have open will be over here in the system tray that you get Oops. to from the bottom. Okay, I got that. I hadn't noticed that before. Only on, actually, it's any corner, except for any on any corner on the left side will bring up that option. And then, if you, how do I? Oh, I don't have anything else open. But every uh, every window that you have open will stack on this side. Okay. So if I were to go back to what's now the start menu, and let's say I'll open up maps, um, I'll open up. 
weather, open up, uh, calendar. You can stroke the right side of the screen and it provides you a menu as well. Yeah. Is that is that how we're we're dealing with the mo the how <laughs> these things are? No, that's. What did you stroke it? Like, can you imagine your tech calls when this when when <laughs> sooner or later this this become becomes a part of your yeah, company? See? Okay. It's a whole and there they all are right there. Bar, yeah. So for those on audio, can you explain what's happening? Yeah, I'm here? sorry. Oh, uh, okay. So we got Windows <laughs> Windows eight. I I, I uh, it, it came we're, out. We're, like, yeah, we're, it came out this past week. Uh, I had an old laptop. Uh, that was running Vista, so I had to get it to something else sooner or later anyways, and the graphics driver was already going on me. Uh, so I loaded this up, and, uh, and uh, Crappy, you said you've got it running on a netbook at home as well? Uh, it's, it's sort of running. Um, the, the, the screen resolution is limited enough that I, I'm not getting to play with a whole lot, um, but I've yeah. got the background stuff going, on and um, yeah, so I get a chance to get a decent look at it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, uh, enough to poke around and figure out mm -hmm. stuff like Chachi's figuring out here. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, I mean, it, it's interesting. I mean, it, 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 it's nifty. Um, you kind of see them macifying and trying to hide a lot of the stuff going on. And there's there's definitely, I feel a little bit of familiarity because I've been using the Xbox right. since the last update. So, okay. And I do a lot of Hulu, YouTube. You're, you're, you're used to that interface going on there. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. It's a little like learning. The learning curve seems like a bit. Not really. Well, well, it's taken you a bit to find all these little things, and it's so different than another Windows. There, it's taken me a while to find these things. Yeah, but they're non-essential things. Okay. Like I've survived. How long? It's seven thirty now. You're going on an hour with that. Yeah, thing. I've survived an hour. hour. Yeah. Without that function. Now, you're high level as far as, like, Windows know-how goes. You're an IT professional. Right. I mean, what happens when you drop this in, in your general customer's hands? You're not so going to. An, an idiot like me. You're not going to. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, on, a, on a corporate level, that's not going to work. You're not going to give the, the users opportunities to mess with things like this start menu. Okay. Well, well Josh, who is this built for, then? This is built for home. Okay. This is built. This is. I told Mike before. I told him before the show started. This will never make its way to a corporate setting. In that form. In this form. But I mean, eventually, and I mean, the technology you know has got to be. It updated. might not make it there on a on a, any form. Okay. Because that's Windows Seven minus the Start button. Okay. That's the only difference on from on this screen. If you want to bring it up, mm -hmm. the only difference on this screen is the fact that there's not a start circle down there. <laughs> uh, David Tech is saying, "Give me an IP IP config on that." I don't know if you can. Yeah, where's the run command? Let's hold on. Wait. Put a challenge up for you. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, what? Did we just drop to a command line DOS prompt here? Like a what? Oh, what? <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have I, I have to admit that I did do a search for it. Mm -hmm. Um so it only took me like five seconds to find that because I knew exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, because it was something that you did before, but but that's that's you know what you're gonna deal with. And like right. off office is gonna be the same thing as you're used to because it's gonna drop into that. Yeah. Um so I mean there's gonna be a lot of back and forth. It really is but like even even on Windows seven the command prompt is hidden. Like, it's not something that you can easily find, like Windows XP. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, this is pretty much the run bar. This app's, this app's uh, screen. Okay. That's pretty much the run bar. Because, I mean, you type it in. And it comes up. Yeah. And it searches your whole system, and there it is. And it drops you into Metro or whatever the thing runs in. Yeah. Because I know there's Internet Explorer on there. It runs in Metro. Um, like, it's, it's an IE10 preview. Um, yeah, DOS is in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the long run, it is. It's it's still got to be in there somewhere. You can't get the program files from here. Actually, you can here. No, I don't want that. I'll just change. Uh, Chachi's doing his best to make Windows 8 his bitch. Right here. There's, yeah, I mean... Now, program now files, again, ex Windows. explain to us, why do you think... Uh, explain us more, why do you think this isn't going to work in a corporate setting at all, at any level? It gives too much customization. But isn't that um, something that can get locked down on your end? 
it, there's no need. There's no need? No, because like I said, the only difference between this so far and mm -hmm. Windows 7 is the fact that there's not a start circle down there. Okay. That's okay. the only difference on the desktop setting. There's no other functionality difference. That, that but, I've seen, no. But, I mean, either, you know, I don't know exactly how your upgrade paths work there, but isn't there, like, something eventually where you'll need to, like, all your computers will be, all your new computers will come with this anyways? No. You can downgrade. Uh-huh. Okay. All of our new computers come in with whatever they come in with. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. not what they leave our office with. So until, until Microsoft gives you a reason that would be a technical reason for you to go to eight. What's there's that? No, if, there's, if there's like a technical server compatibility thing that there they won't do. be. Okay. Uh, like I said, I, and I, I hate to keep going back to this, but the only difference between this and Windows 7 at this point, mm -hmm. not including that start menu, mm -hmm. is the fact that that's, all they did, I'm, I'm telling you, all they did is take the start bar and, and make it its own screen. And make it Metro. Yeah. So and that doesn't work in a in a in your environment. Too customizable. Now what about what about on the uh, tablet side? Because obviously that's what they're gearing towards. Now this is you have commonality between that and the tablet. No, no. Uh, do, do you, uh, well, you're, you're probably in your situation, but maybe other things like you know we know we've had Shell on the show where they've been looking at iPads uh, being deployed across uh, uh, you know a bunch of banks and everything. Um, you know what? Can you see, can you see uh, some of the benefits that way? Well, I mean, and that's what that's what Microsoft is trying to accomplish with this. They're they're trying to, because I mean, look at the Chromebook. Mm -hmm. You put in your email address, you load up the Chromebook, all of your stuff is right there. Yeah, that's what Microsoft is trying to accomplish here. Mm -hmm. They want more people to start using Windows Live ID, because when they use Windows Live ID with this operating system, uh, their Windows Phone. Mm -hmm. and any Windows tablet that may or may not come out, they're all synced already. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what Microsoft Which is Which is like what Google's doing, right. too. Right, right. I mean, with, like, I mean, with the that's phones. That's what I said, with the Chromebook. Yeah. But with the phones as well, because when, yeah. when you when you updated from your G1 to your G2, didn't you just pop in your username and there was everything? Yeah. Uh, which I don't think, we'll, well, hopefully we'll have that with Apple soon with iCloud. Right. But there's they are just in the beginning stages and definitely not enterprise level and by any means so but i mean yeah everything on here I, I mean it took me five minutes the only thing that's changed is what the stuff is called and that mm -hmm. happens every operating system yeah yeah i mean i was in control panel it wasn't called control panel but i mean within the first five minutes of me touching it i was in control panel mm -hmm. i set up my own mm -hmm. account i mean i was i was up and running before mike came back downstairs yeah yeah he went upstairs to to grab something, and I had logged him out and logged in my account with the help of my phone in a matter of minutes. And I also found a dumb ass, a dumb, 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 dumb place to put something, Microsoft. <laughs> dumb. Do you want to explain? <laughs> oh. I, uh, one of the biggest no-nos that you could possibly do, and, and that's give the common user the power to wipe their PC... With a single click. <laughs> Which is right there. Which is in the control panel. Oh. Under general. <laughs> like, it's not <laughs> hidden. They didn't try to hide this. This is, like, here. Oh, oh hold on. <laughs> I bumped the mutes. Yeah, um, they're, they're weird touch controls at the top. <laughs> they didn't. It's not hidden at all. You go to general <laughs> settings, and it says right there. Reset your PC and start over. I can see how that might be a problem, especially for someone in, in your line of work, Chad. <laughs> it's a bad idea. I, I can't. I can't imagine you. This can't be locked down in an enterprise setting. Oh, I'm sure it can. I mean, I'm be. sure this is something that the button can be removed, disabled. You're not an administrator. As it is, you couldn't do because you're not an admin. Right. I'm not an administrator on this computer. Yeah. But you got to think of how many. <laughs> but the general, like, I give this to my grandma and. Grandma calls you and says, "I lost everything because I, 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 something there was, happened." There was this button. Yeah, there was this button, and I what? <laughs> some I broke something, so I just started over. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It, it's not a good idea. It's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that that took me the same amount. Of, it took me less time to find that 
than it did to set up a... Uh, Sonic says, some some comments from Sonic in here. Um, see, so uh, Windows 8 with less start is, and uh, Windows 8 is just a high-end theme, he asks, which basically it looks like it on the desktop side. No, that's what it is. Uh, Windows 8 has a suicide button too. Text will have a field day. Um, and I'm sure they'll fix uh, that for you for $150 at Geek Squad. Yeah. Uh, Mike, were you going to say something there? I, I, Josh, I, I am curious to hear what you think about how big a deal this is with Microsoft. I, I've written a couple times in the column about uh, how much Microsoft has, is lagging, especially in, in the, the mobile area. Uh, and this seems like what they're they're pegging their hopes on. Um, is, is this like a make or break thing for them as far as mobile goes? This uh, is, a, is it that big a deal? This, this is not a make or break thing for Microsoft. Okay. Um, if someone doesn't like this, then they're going to realize that you just come down here and bring up the desktop. Uh -huh. Yeah, already um, there are hacks to bring your start menu back. Yeah, I mean, I, if you're savvy enough, uh, you, you'll figure out a way to get around this. However, um, this is going to do nothing but help Microsoft. Okay. Because um, what they did is they brought back, or not, they, they brought, they didn't bring back because Microsoft honestly never had it. Um, but they brought the ease of Mac mm -hmm. to PC. Okay. So, I mean, if anything, uh, well, Microsoft is catching up. Uh, you know, you say the ease of Mac, but more like the ease of iOS. Right. To a point. Like, this is their version yeah. of an iOS thing. And, and again, yes. It, yes. It, it is their, their mobile interface. Yeah. That's where it started. Then it went to the game console. They worked their way back. Which seems to be everybody like uh, you know we're, we're seeing again with Lion Mountain Lion coming up. We're seeing all those mobile things, those mobile breakthroughs, track back to our desktops. I like it. Um, yeah. Can can Microsoft catch up? Yeah, they can. Yeah. You want to know why? This is... There's no reason for anyone to ever leave this screen. Honestly, unless they know what they're mm -hmm. doing, they mm -hmm. can do it all from this screen. So I can again. I could kind of. Hand this to my my mother and yeah. I mean, there's absolutely no reason. And say, just live here. If you see a, if you see a desktop, if you see that betta fish, uh, stop and hit the start button. <laughs> I, I mean, pretty much because <laughs> I mean, with the way this is seeming, I installed Chrome. Mm -hmm. Chrome's right there on the on the start menu. Yeah, it's yeah, right it, there. it yeah. brings you up. Now it does bring you to the desktop because you click that. And show them what happens when you click that. It brings up my already open Chrome site. But again, you're like there's a there's the bar at the bottom. Right. You you just like, oh god, I'm I'm down here. Well, I mean, like I said, the functionality as far as uh having more than one thing open, it's mm -hmm. gonna be here at the bottom. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah. That's gonna be Windows until but there's Microsoft. There's no reason to go anywhere else. Right. I mean so. Let's, that could Grandma be... Grandma has no reason to come over here and click settings. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I I'm pretty sure that grandma won't be able to find that. I just hit freeze frame on you. Yeah, sorry about no, that. That's okay. <laughs> so, um, but I mean, it, it, and then there's the tablet side too. And again, if they're, they're going to be putting this on some stuff like like the ARM tablets and everything, that you're not going to be able to go to the desktop in general. There, I think they're including a version of Office with it. That you know, it'll be a desktopized version of that, of uh -huh. course. But uh -huh. you're going to be limited. It's going to be Metro or bust for those things. So it's not like we're putting Windows proper on a lot of these tablets. Mm -mm. I mean, there's mm -hmm. going to be the Intel ones where you can do all this stuff too, but then there'll just be the ones that are going to be more like, this is going to be the target to an iPad. Yeah. Because it is like that level. That's what it is. I mean, so, so. Well, I mean, you got to think with the push for all these uh, all-in-one units with the touchscreen. Yeah. There's your We're answer. seeing HP's been doing the touchscreen ones for a while. Now there's a reason. There's my, your answer. My my brother actually has. We've seen it on here. He has the one with the touchscreen. I I'd love to see him load that on there. And I'm sure he's upstairs listening right now. And he needs to deeply consider that before he loads a consumer preview on his main machine. Yeah, don't um, no, don't don't, <laughs> don't do that. If you know how to dual boot, I'd say do that first before going to yeah, this. Don't. But it's stable. It, it seems damn stable. Other than I can't find the driver for everything. But uh, other than that. You know, you're, you're going to have that with a laptop. What kind of video card is in here? It's a it's a GeForce 8400, I think. Okay. And uh, it's it's about on par with my MacBook. Like a, it's a better it's a better graphics than my MacBook, and it's a little slower of a processor, but it's like the same generation like Core 2 Duo. So that's why I was like, you know, wow, I have a PC that's at least you know pretty usable for my stuff. So I, I thought it was perfect for doing this. So, um. 
But I need, to, I need to double check on that graphics card. That might be why I'm having an issue. I might have got bad info somewhere. So, uh, let's see. <laughs> Somebody's noticing your tattoos in the chat room here. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. I think uh, I'd like to see how this plays out. We don't have a release date for this yet, but we presume by the end of the year we're going to see this out in shells. Until then, we have this to play with. Um, and uh, But this is a second round of Windows 7, like, we got to this state, and people were like, "This feels ready," you know. Uh, after after the debacles that were Vista, after the the long time after XP before we saw anything new, um, and they're having these this polished a, a previews coming out. Um, it really feels like you know Microsoft's getting together in house, you know, like like, and I know they've had some different heads in there in well, the past I mean, few years. They're getting together in house, and they're growing a sense of humor. Yeah. Oh, well, well, the thing you noticed that I have, because everybody's like, what's up with this fish? Yeah, well. <laughs> well, go to the desktop there. It's yeah. on the desktop. Okay, so there's this fish, and it, well, the, load, I, uh, the load screen yes, is the fish. Yes, when you're when you're booting up the computer, instead of the Windows logo or uh, it saying Windows, you see a picture of this little blue fish mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. loading circle below it. And, well, I... First off, let's start. Let's start at the beginning. I, I rebooted the computer when I first turned it on because I figured out the. Uh, I'm gonna call it the curtain for the login screen. because <laughs> it does and, seem like yeah. a curtain because you have yeah, this I, giant I, beautiful I, I, screen yeah. with the time. Yes. And I, I wanted to play with the curtain again, so I rebooted the computer, and it took me two reboots to figure out why there's a fish. And it's because it's a beta. And the and the little eight coming out of its mouth. Yeah, Did I didn't even notice the eight. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. It's a beta. I keep going to that pillow. Yeah. It is an eight. <laughs> That's awesome. So, but, uh, yeah, I mean, they have a sense of humor now. It, it, it seems like Microsoft is starting to have the fun that Apple always seems like they're having. <laughs> they get, they're having their chance to uh, kind of be the cool kid. Right. So, and and this is what they need to do. This is change the perception. Right. I mean, now, you change your attitude and you don't a, change your software. It's a different aesthetic, definitely, because, I mean, there's def it, it, it feels flat, first of all. What do you, you mean, know? flat? It, it just, the, the, it's a very flat aesthetic that they're, they're going with here. Um, well, they're just saving. But it works. You know, it works. And, and some people probably like it. I don't like it better than the, than the, than the, you know, the Apple look. And I guess that's how that pinball game looks if I was actually able to load it. Um, yeah, I'm going to get the right driver for you. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> um, but the integration seems seems great. I've been really impressed with, you know, the couple of minutes I've had to play with a Windows 7 phone. And if they're bringing that to Windows, I, I don't see any any reason why not to. Right. I can't wait until I can load this on my uh, MacBook, which I guess you can, but I, I don't like, I don't like kind of, uh, uh, I don't. I don't like uh, playing with boot camp if it's not officially supported. I personally am a big fan of the Windows 8 beta. Yeah, yeah. me too. Me too. I was talking about the fish. The fish? Yes. Oh, the <laughs> beta fish. Right. Fish. So <laughs> I hope that's not their official mascot. I hope it is. <laughs> like, it's good. You're just gonna get this, like instead of instead of your your Windows logo. Listen. Which I know they've changed recently, but they're just gonna put a fish. Windows fish. Oh, this doesn't make okay. <laughs> Listen, yes, Apple has cats. <laughs> yes, this yes. is yes. this is this yes. is an inside joke at Microsoft. Uh huh. That they're just the fish for Microsoft for Apple <laughs> for the they're the bait for their cats. <laughs> oh, so they're trying to be they're trying to be the underdog that Macintosh has been which has been some kind of their they are appeal. the underdog now well technically but not as far as market share everybody's still got an Apple machine or a, a Microsoft machine mm -hmm. uh, just not the cool kids apparently right and and they're finally trying to get something I, I want to see a, a Microsoft store and see how that's going in the long run so I don't know <laughs> So in the meantime, so so watch out. Oh, it's not loading yet. There he is, looking at your fish. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> Snow leopard, mountain lion, what the f Exactly, exactly. I, I had a cat in here a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of that. I, I'm, I'm curious to see, you know, what, what it does with the tablets and everything. I think it'll be, it'll be really interesting. And, yeah, Microsoft has me excited again. That's great. So somebody has, has me not excited anymore. Um, 
Uh, let's see. Uh, the, Crappy, you got an eighteen T phone over there? Are you? Are you on that? Yeah. 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 Uh, are you on a grandfather plan? Uh, I, I I gave it up a, a couple of years ago for um, for economic reasons. I mentioned the, the print journalism salary. Oh yes. Uh, oh, oh yes. A few minutes. Well. Um, well, looks like we're all in a similar. I'm, and, and actually, I'm 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 glad I did because this would just make my head explode. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of mad right now. Really mad right now. AT and T announces throttling changes now kicks in at three gigabytes for for the general population and five gigabytes oh, for LTE. Oh no! Look at that! Look at that, Chachi! Oh, you are now better no. off than me on your five gigabyte tr- throttling plan over there. Uh, and, and and to top it all off, last night we're sitting there watching TV, and uh, my wife gets the text message. Oh yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Then I looked at mine. I'm at two and a half. So uh, we sucks. we like using our phones, but still we don't want to change anything because we're mm-hmm. paying the same price. Well, I guess it's three gigabytes for thirty dollars now, isn't it? Yes. So yes. the only difference is we get throttled and start saying, "Hey, c- congratulations! You have ten dollars uh, more on your bill for doing that." Um, but thankfully, there's like a day left on a cycle, so if they're going to start throttling her, it wouldn't be that that bad i guess <laughs> you weren't eight days Yet. into your you your were billing, <laughs> billing plan yeah and, and she's and you know it's kind of like you she's sitting there at work she, she has no access to wi-fi uh-huh. and she's been listening to pandora and yeah she, that'll do it she did this uh-huh. before on the my fi where we had uh-huh. a two gigabyte limit on verizon uh on her ipad which was technically over wi-fi so it was probably a higher bit rate and i was wondering why the bill was so damn high um because they were doing exactly what what happened to everybody else they just kept tacking on the extra gigabyte for 10 bucks a pop or whatever um but but yeah this is this we so sue us well we could sue back i guess um we like using our phones chachi you like using your phone for netflix on the toilet i i I like using my phone (laughs) i do whenever i get in the car my my phone is hooked up to the radio i'm listening to a podcast i'm listening to pandora Mm mm-hmm I, I if I'm in the car, I'm probably streaming something from a tower at this point. And that's starting that up and it's starting to hit their ceiling. Oh, I couldn't. So I, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking. I, I'm kind of wondering about Sprint, but I, I just can't see their coverage really being up to snuff after looking at a map. And But uh, now, now, uh, yeah, I'm at that point with at and I'm kind of done with them. And now I'm under contract for two years. So, but, um, but yeah, yeah. Um, this, this is what happens when one guy gets lucky with a class action lawsuit mm-hmm. and gets eight, gets eight hundred and fifty dollars. Now we're all screwed. So, uh, so. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And, and it only gets worse. I, I actually with, with the with the two gig limit, I've been getting. The, the, the text message warnings um, because I've been bumping up against that. And I'm not doing anything appreciably different. Uh, the, the stuff I'm consuming apparently is uh, chewing up a lot more data than it used to. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, so wh- whether you have the unlimited plan or not, um, this is, this is going to, this is just going to be a thing, um, you know, got to deal with. And I'm, I'm probably, I'm going to have that 10 buck charge this month again. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what I do, but to a point, but to a point, if you're like, it, it, is yeah. it worth it though? Yeah, but it, well, it's like you know, I, I think we've talked about a few weeks ago. I was listening to one show, the guy from I think it was Hack Five, and he says like, I hit my five gigabyte limit, and they won't allow me to buy anymore. Like he's actually paying like the extra, mm-hmm. paying for the two gigabyte plan, paying for the extra ten, the extra ten bucks for the next gigabyte, gets to five, and they will not allow him to buy more data allowance. Really. Yes. Really? Apparently, he, he says, "Look, I will give you money, and they will not give it to you." I, I didn't. I didn't bump up against that limit until fairly recently. Uh, I, th- I think in December was the first time I started getting the text warnings. I'm like, "What in the hell was I doing?" Um, and 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 I, I don't. Uh, the extra ten bucks is is kind of irritating, but at the same time, it, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, I use and, and and three gigs for me in a month is fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. But but you know the, the idea that you know you, you say look I I have this thing I want to use it as much as mm-hmm. possible and not not even having the allowance it, like not not allowing us to give you money for more of your service it just seems completely ridiculous to me. Uh, that so, that that is kind of asinine. Yeah yeah mm-hmm. so, um, and then there's those people that won't help you out when your phone's been stolen, 
Hey, AT&T, like we learned last week. Um, AT&T are data Nazis, <laughs> says Sonic <laughs> in the chat room. Um, yeah. Yes, I have been impressed with uh, my wife's data usage. Because, uh, I don't know, for the past year, she has always been like half a gigabyte more than I am. Uh-huh. So it's like a race. Not that we're actually racing and trying to use more data on purpose. <laughs> but I, I just like started looking at it. I'm like, what are you doing with your phone? I, maybe it's, hey, maybe it's that eye messaging Because I'm seeing her pictures all the time. Uh-huh. That used to fall, you know, and, and that's where they catch. Because that used to fall under, you know, we have a family plan. So we have right. MMSing is all included, unlimited, everything like that. Now right. that falls into data when I send her a picture. You can turn my message off. I could. <laughs> well we don't because uh the reason the reason we use it a lot is um we we gave iphones uh 3gs's to our uh, her mother and father who uh, have, yeah okay yeah okay. and they basically wi-fi would be the only access they have and now we can text with each other like, okay on a daily basis nice going missy so. <laughs> we're good we, we try to be good to our parents <laughs> um all right. Now, I, I guess, uh, Chachi, this is your territory. I know you've been talking about this as we discussed a little bit earlier in the show over on InsertCoinToBegin.com. <clears throat> yeah, because you stole my crap. Uh, you got away. Hey, I am helping you out, man. I know. So now, let, let, let me start with this because what I can contribute to gaming stuff is sort of limited. Um, but how, how, how does a company... That a, a gaming a gaming company that's been in business since what 1982. <laughs> how, how did they not? How, how does this happen? I explained to Sorg how this happens. Tonight. Okay, go. Uh, EA. Well, let's explain, explain what happened. First. Okay, so yeah, EA uh, reached out and they created a iOS game for The Simpsons called Tapped Out. Yes. Um, that's all I know about the game. Like I know, I realize that you unlock buildings. And it's you... basically like Smurf Village or or Farmville for Simpsons. Okay, so it, it's Simpsons Farmville. Um, Simpsonsville? Can we call it? That? Yeah, Simpsonsville. Ah. Um, but here's the problem with that, and I explained this to my pre-show. Uh, EA was reaching two sections pre Simpsons. Okay. They were reaching gamers, and they were reaching mobile gamers. Okay. With, with this is pre-Simpsons. Mm-hmm. So, to date, EA never had to worry about this problem. Uh, because the games that they released on a mobile platform didn't rely on servers. Like this game does well, I, but the, it's not like the data. The data saved from these games uh, saved on your device. Yeah. So, well, but they're not. They're still not a stranger to it because they do Sims, free play, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's still in these first two groups. We're yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. They're, they're, those that's still in these first two groups, which together does not equal fans of Simpsons with iPhones. Mm -hmm. Because once you include Simpsons, you forget that you're not a gamer. Because even your parents, if they have iPhones, will try the Simpsons game. Mm -hmm. Until they get to load it and Bart's laughing at you. And an error message pops up. This is server is unavailable. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> because that's what happened when EA ventured into so, and, Simpsons. And this is something like like I was telling you, like you didn't see too much. We found out about it because there was a commercial on Hulu. Right. And I presume it's on television as well. They're advertising. <laughs> so it, it's gotten a lot of play as opposed to, say, a Battlefield, a Dead Space, a, a Madden on the iPad. You know, I, I mean, people have to kind of be looking for it or be in that, that circle in order to, to, to have that going on. But this isn't their only uh, misstep the last few weeks. Uh, you t- you wrote about on your blog yeah. about uh, Battlefield Aftershock, wasn't it? Where it was a completely online game. Yeah. They And it was so bad, they pulled it from the App Store for being so bad yeah. and said, we're not going to fix this. Yeah, it's and not the a Simpsons, server. And versus <laughs> the Simpsons, they have pulled from the App Store so they don't get because it's too popular. They basically yeah. pulled it for being too popular yeah. so they can try to catch up with server server space. Right. 
Like the people who have it can keep playing it. Mm-hmm. Or, if it works. or if you have access to your wife's iTunes account, you can also download it. Right. Um, but as far as going into the iTunes or the App Store and getting it now, gone. Yeah, you're not. It's gone. You're not going to. It, it's no longer available. And now it's got an even bigger buzz because it's in the news yeah. for having too much buzz. Right. So uh, <laughs> when EA pulled it to probably quadruple their servers, mm-hmm. now they're going to have to add eight more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, win, 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 win for EA. Almost there. But after putting a franchise like Battlefield through what they just did. You know, uh, with with that's, aftershock, that's Mass like, Effect uh, just came out with their iOS game the, to coincide with three that just came out on the consoles. Excuse me. Listen, let's go back to uh, Battlefield. Okay, uh, it's not EA's fault. Okay, and I hope the jackasses that were involved in the Battlefield iOS game or mobile game have been canned. <laughs> Can disseminated just yes. uh, like I hope that they tried to walk into the office one day after this game was released and there were armed guards at the door <laughs> telling them no. <laughs> like seriously, I I I I hope or or they gave them a pro- license property like a Barney game that nobody's going to care about the <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> so yeah, that's yeah. what happens because they have so many licenses. They're at EA. punishing them. They have to go make a listen, new Barney game. Listen, you're completely on the on the on the Barbie <laughs> game, the Barbie horse adventure game. Because that, come on, man, come on. Yes. No, I honestly, I think the Barbie and Barney games are for. Uh, <laughs> they even still have. Them. I don't know if EA yeah, ever I, did them. Yeah, I, they, they have to have something like right. that. Right. I, I I think those are for people who have a habit of showing up late or calling off a lot. <laughs> I, I, I think you I mean, can't do that in that industry. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think that those, that, that game department is reserved for those people mm. where they're kind of annoying and you get really angry at them, but they're good workers when they show up. So you don't want to get rid of them. Okay. Okay. But these battlefield people, they tried to go to work on Monday, and they were met with armed guards who had clipboards with their pictures on them, and said, no, your stuff has already been shipped to you, and you don't even get your last paycheck, because that cost us money. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, it's interesting to see what's going on there uh, with EA. I, in a weird, weird, weird contrast, I actually saw the CEO of Electronic Arts uh, Sunday. And should have asked TEDx him about CMU. the games. <laughs> I, I didn't get a chance to corner him about that, but like, hey, what's up with the Simpsons game? Um, but great presentation about... Why did you break it? Although you might be interested. I'll, I'll get you the video as soon as they put it up. Because, um, of course, Ted, they video everything. But a pretty cool uh, thing about uh, gaming and education to try to get more interest. And I guess they have some initiatives they're working on there. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, what else we got there? I don't know. What do you think about this uh, 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 crappy? I I, I want to play. It's not there. <laughs> what the hell? You want you want in on the Simpsons thing? Did you do the <laughs> Did you do the Smurfs Village thing? Have you been doing it? Are you are are you are you raising pigs? And uh, no. Are no. you a farmer? No, no, no. Ville games. Um, <laughs> Uh, but the Simpsons thing is attractive enough, and I have enough history with the series that it, I could. I could. That's the thing. That's I, 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 I want to try because that, that was. The, I think that's what happened with like the Smurfs Village. People were like, oh, I remember the Smurfs. They're like, oh, I mm-hmm. can play the Smurfs, and I'm that, pointing. That's at that why that until... audience is so huge. Yeah, yeah. You have 22 seasons worth of fans mm-hmm. that just kept growing and growing and growing. And just a critical mass. I mean, they they've had other Simpsons games before, but they had like Simpsons yep. Arcade on uh, on iOS. I mean. Uh, they, yes, they've had, yes. They have. They've had nothing connected like this before, right. which mm-hmm. makes me wonder: When does the Simpsons MMO come out? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Listen, listen, listen. All right. I've lost count as to what season The Simpsons is on. Twenty-five or something. Okay. That's six too many. <laughs> It doesn't matter. It's a money making machine. I know. <laughs> I know. It, but it, honestly, they should have stopped after the movie was out. 
they should have used the movie as a logical closing point to the series end. Instead, what they said they were going to do was use the movie as a jumping point for the series to keep going, and they failed to do that. Like, Spider-Pig was in two episodes as a cameo. Yeah. Yes. That's it. Yeah. I want my Spider-Pig. That's all I'm saying. Pack it up, Matt. Time to go home. <laughs> or, or give us a spider pig, and, yeah. and then Chachi will be happy. Continue, like continue the story from where the movie picked off, like you said you were going to. Mm-hmm. Or pack it up and go home. So it didn't become like that that halfway point, like you know, for us to remember the Transformers movie, right? And it picked up from there in the series. So right. you just like it was a transition point for the series. Yeah, and just no. Just, no, the only thing they did was that they were still building the house in the next in the first episode of the next season. Yeah, you're right. That was it. Balls dropped. Yeah, balls right. dropped. So, so dear uh, Matt, speaking, pack up your pens. Speaking of balls, uh, <laughs> I was going to tell you about this uh, new story called about Google Play, but I'm too busy playing with the bubbles at the top of the Google blog here. At React to my mouse pointer. <laughs> Ooh. That that was a doodle at some point. Was it? I remember yeah, losing probably. an entire day of work. It was like recently, with, with wasn't something it? Similar. Yeah. Uh, within the last year, I like, think. Like it was these things and they made, like they spelled out Google or something? Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes, yes. This is too... I, I don't remember what the event was, but I, I it was, I, I just kind of sat at my desk in a daze and, and did this all day long. Listen, it was nowhere near as dangerous as the Pac-Man. Oh, I downloaded the Pac-Man on the uh, The Pac-Man was, was, that was a tough day at work, yes. <laughs> so, anyways, so uh, once you get past that, and then, uh, thankfully I found this in an RSS feed, so I didn't see the stop, distraction at first. Stop playing with your balls. I, there's, there's something called am, Google Play here, um, I think, and the video, it, it tries to tell you something. Um, apparently this is their big, it's, it looks like they're kind of iTunes Play. Um, they're converting the Android store over to this. Um, they're gonna you're, you're gonna be able to store twenty thousand songs for free, buy millions of new tracks. It, so it looks like it's just the Android store and Google Music and and Google Books with eBooks and everything are finally combining into one thing that you can have on all your Android devices or Google devices or whatever you have going on there. And uh, and and Chachi, you said your Android market hasn't updated yet. No. Like, I got all the deals that are promising and everything, but not the Personally, actual... What, what version are you running? I don't know. <laughs> You're so disenchanted with your Android device, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just... No, um, G4 is saying that... Oh, it's not even going to be called the, H- the iPad 3. Oh, yeah? It's called... HD? Yes. Mm. HD? Okay. iPad HD... <laughs> wait, wait, who said that? G4 TV. Okay. <laughs> Next version of the Apple iPad will almost certainly be announced tomorrow morning, but it looks like it won't be called the iPad 3. Instead, it will be called iPad HD. And that's been the speculation. According to right. a developer who's previously provided reliable information with respect to things Apple. Whatever. Uh, I, w- I don't believe anything until... I don't believe anything iPad... Until it gets to 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Yeah, I believe most of the stuff so. that G4 tells me. Really? When it comes to okay. information like that. Okay. All right. They're not they're not a venerable news source like CNN or anything, though. Or, or the Beaver County Times. They are when it comes to things of nerd nature. Okay. And you know this. Don't no! Don't uh, try to start something. You. I haven't you, watched D four. Been able to watch D four for. Three you years. agree I don't with even me? Know anymore. You um, agree with me? I don't even know what Blonde Floozy is telling you the news on Attack of the Show anymore. I don't watch it. Um, <laughs> I read their their read feed. I the read, yeah. yeah, I don't watch any G four. I just read it. The only time I watch G four is at like two o'clock in the morning after playing video games, and at that point, it's either uh, campus cops or just cops. And Bobby, and Bobby, I know, I'm sure Sarah Underwood is a saint. Um, just, just, just search her name on on Google without safe search on, and I'm sure you'll think the same. Um, That's right. Anyway, so there's good. There's there's a. Is that the missus in the background? What? It is. She just got home. <laughs> I can maybe get her in here to say hi. Maybe. All right. At that point, um, so there's Google Play. I, I, I imagine they announced this today or yesterday, or whenever they did, uh, to try to. Oh yeah. 
she's a saint all right iPad. oh yeah did you just do a search <laughs> yeah she's a saint playboy's full yoga full video oh Say yes hi. oh yes hi. i remember finding that Hi, Sorgan, hi, there she is. Hi, Sorgan. Oh. Hi, Chachi. Oh, Mrs. Crappy. Hold on, let me get a camera. Oh, family filter is on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind us. We're just looking up questionable stuff on the internet. Uh, all right, I won't. Oh, I won't open it up with with chat room. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well, on that note, guys, let's get out of here. We gotta head out here and uh, talk some wrestling. Uh, I was I was I was promised the chance for for bad impersonations. Bad impersonations. Uh, yes, you, you, <laughs> he was promised that. He was promised that. I yeah, it was in the show notes. It was in the show notes. Because the what did the show notes say again? It said, uh, uh, "Chat, you got him." I, I didn't. Hey, get you it. get my impression of Windows Eight, and then yep. uh, bad at voice mm -hmm. impressions. Bad voice impressions. So, oh, crap, take it just, away. Take it away. Yeah, go ahead. Well, this. hello. Dolly, well, hello, Dolly. It's so nice to have you back where you belong. That's like, wow. Wow, nice. I didn't expect that at all. Nice. <laughs> wow. With that, and that's a perfect time to plug your uh, column. Uh, my, my column, which has absolutely nothing to do with Louis Armstrong, it is called Geeked. That, yeah, there, there's a picture. Uh, it runs every Sunday in the Beaver County Times, Allegheny Times, and at timesonline.com. It is a consumer-oriented tech column. I will be uh, probably writing uh, about some of the stuff that we talked about today, especially the iPad 2.5 announcement or, or whatever it is we're going to call it tomorrow. Excellent, excellent. And you don't have to be local to the Beaver County, Western nope. PA area nope. to really be down with what's going on. Available everyone to, to everyone from everywhere. How's, uh, how's your video show still going? Uh, it's it's a little sporadic. I've I've uh, been awfully busy with other stuff at work, but um, I, I squeeze them in when I can. Um, uh, so you can you can find Newsbreak at timesonline dot com when I get to them. When you get to them. <laughs> excellent, excellent. <laughs> uh, well, we're going, we're heading to playoffs. So I'm I'm hoping that Penguin Hat comes back again. Oh, it, oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> uh, when, when Crosby comes back, uh, I did a couple. I've done a couple news breaks with uh, with the Penguin Hat sort of wrapped. In uh, gauze around his head, um, so when Crosby comes back, we'll we'll officially remove the gauze, and uh, and and break it out that way. And I don't know if I plugged this on here before. I know I've shown this to somebody not too long ago. I think my father-in-law he was getting a kick out of this. Uh, look up the uh, Newsbreak Steel versus Cheese video. Uh, oh, for, that was for fun. a good that laugh. Was that was a uh, I, man. You should get like an on or on air Emmy of some sort for that one. So. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, it's a, that was our Super Bowl preview. Uh, it's right there. Uh, if you if you just search YouTube, oh, I you can find Steel versus Cheese. I just oh, I just searched Newsbreak Steel versus Cheese. You're the first thing that comes up. That's amazing. I love oh, that let's video. See, we get in. Thank this. you. It's a classic. And not a good good amount of hits there. There there he is with the steel. Yeah, we did, I, and I had, I had some had some help with uh, with uh, with getting people to, to take a look at that one, but that, that was fun to do. Excellent. And that 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 bar tasted awful. By the way. <laughs> Excellent. Go check them out, Shashi. You have new ventures over there. I do. And look, it's on your name. It is. Oh, nice. You changed it. Uh, yeah. I. And it actually didn't take that long to get up and running. Nope. Uh, I pitched this idea to Sorg like two weeks ago, <laughs> and within, about half a week later, yeah, half a week you later, had a website. it was up and running. I just had some extra um, server space lying around. I was looking Sorg at Sorg being so difficult to work with. Yeah, you know. Well, I mean, it wasn't. It, no, it wasn't a matter of him being difficult to work with. It was a matter of me uh, continuously <laughs> asking him if this was a good idea. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then from there, it was bouncing smaller ideas that were connected to the overall idea off of him until we came up with something that was a finished You made product. like an idea tree. Yeah. Via via G chat with me. Yeah. <laughs> like say. it was it was a matter of just me bouncing random comments to Sorg and him going Yeah, I like that. This is a good idea. And so <laughs> I purchased the uh, domain name which was one of the uh one of the steps in the whole thing that that was a good three hour discussion. <laughs> How many names did we come up with? Oh, I, I don't even remember, but it was uh, it was probably a good dozen or so. Yeah, yeah, a good dozen or so 
either different names or variation of names um, off of the same idea. And so I bought it the next day, and three days later, we launched insertcointobegin.com, yeah. um, which is essentially my take on what a gaming news site should be. Um, I reached out to a few different people, um, Fuzzwad, uh, because... Who, who did the intro for us at, uh, at yeah. on the accordion at yeah, back he at PodCamp? Did, he did uh, at PodCamp Entrance, and um, he's... he's an engineer who's a big fan of cars, and he's a gamer who is a big fan of car games. So I, I brought him on, um, and then I brought Bobby F. J. Town and Riz IUP on uh, because I know that they're huge gamers and yeah. most of their yeah. lives <laughs> are spent well, around well, video games Bobby as well. Bobby started a tum blog for Skyrim. Yeah. <laughs> it was like um, t- today in Skyrim or something, wasn't it? But uh, the, the whole point of this website is we're not we're not backed by uh, a major corporation or a huge news company of any sort. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is gaming news by gamers for gamers, mm-hmm. which means that we can go out on a limb and we can throw our honest opinion out there and not have to worry about losing a sponsor or losing the backing of a video game and, company and or getting like, fined. And it sounds like you're doing a little bit like we, we do with the wrestling show where we're trying to say, hey, we're fans. Right. It, it, mm-hmm. It's basically, yeah, that's the way you look at it. It's fans uh, talking about what they want to talk about mm-hmm. um, in this specific topic. Excellent. Um, Excellent. And Sounds good. So far, it's off to a great start. Uh, uh, you have Twitter and, and Facebook. Yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know the Facebook. You handle that. Oh, just look up insert coin to begin yeah. on the Facebook. Yeah, we're, we're trying to get that going, figure yeah. out how to, how to best use that. Um, that part isn't completely set up yet, but uh, yeah, we're on Twitter. It's uh, at insert coin BG. Mm-hmm. No. No, T- T- TV. TG. 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 Insert coin TG. Wow. No, no, TB. TB? To begin. Oh, yes. Wow, I can't even get the name right. I don't know. It automatically loads. <laughs> it's, it's a bookmark in my browser. I, I, haven't, I don't know what I, you're talking about. So. I, I haven't had to uh, say it out loud yet. It's either it's always been typed. That's why I said that's why we need yeah. to start a podcast for yeah, you for it. TB. It's insert, <laughs> at insert coin TB on Excellent. Twitter. Excellent. And uh, let's see what else is going on. We got uh, we got new new wrestling DVDs and stuff going on. Of course, SorgatronMedia.com. Chachi is doing his best not to get uh, killed at ringside. Um, it yeah. got a little close this week. We lost a little bit of equipment. Luckily, the cheaper stuff. Wasn't my um, fault. Wasn't your fault. Wasn't your fault. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> was not my fault. Um, and all the other stuff over at SorgatronMedia.com. I got some blogs I'm working on. Maybe a little bit of speaking. I'm teaching Google Plus this week at the library. That'll be fun. Ooh. Be um, fun. Why? Why? No one uses it. Well, then maybe these people will. I, I, I know tens of people who use it. There you go. No, there you, you know tons of people who pretend to use it. No, tens, tens. Not tons. Oh, tens. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, it sounds about right. That's about the people actually <laughs> using it. Hey, you know, no, but we're using it for Hangout. We legitimately use it a lot for Hangout. I know you yeah. don't include with Stop us. Stop inviting me. I what? I invite everybody. So <laughs> Stop inviting me. Um I get annoyed. <laughs> no, seriously, I get annoyed when my phone vibrates and I pick it up and it says so and so has invited you to a hangout. Oh, I forgot that's a completely integrated with your phone with yes. Google Plus. <laughs> like I'm not I'm not trying to be mean and tell you that I just don't want the you invites. Can just ignore the notification. I will murder you. I never, unless I'm sleeping or actively in the shower, I do not ignore when my phone vibrates. <laughs> Every vibrate <laughs> is very important. It to is. Me. Anyways, this is the Awesome Cast over at AwesomeCast.com or uh, at AwesomeCast on Twitter. Contact at AwesomeCast.com if you want to submit any stories, comments, or anything else. We're on the Facebook. We're on Google+. Plus. Look us up. Um, and hopefully doing uh, Google Hangouts on here very soon if I can figure out some tech stuff. Probably been saying that for too long. Um, <laughs> we're here every Tuesday <laughs> at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, you can join us at live.sorgatronmedia.com or live.awesomecast.com to be included with the great chat room uh, that's been with us all night. 
Um, thank you, Uncle Crappy. Check out his uh, stuff at Times Online and UncleCrappy.com. Check out Insert Coin to begin. I'm Sorg. Uh, thanks to our awesome chat room. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. I can't